guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very exciting news. I asked a question and a NASA astronaut answered to me. She's been into outer space. Let's watch what she said and what I said now. Hello, I'm NASA astronaut Jessica Meir. I recently spent 205 days on board the International Space Station. When people practice to be astronauts, how do they practice? You can't just pull away um, gravity from a place. No, you can't because it's invisible. You can't see it. So how do they practice? Well, Santa, that is a great question. It is something that all of the NASA engineers and personnel have been perfecting on the ground for us in order to train us effectively as astronauts. We do it underwater in a really big pool called the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. Underwater, we can mimic some of those effects. We can maintain what we call neutral buoyancy, where we don't float up and we don't sink down. We also have an entire replica of the International Space Station, where we can learn and train in the inside of the space station. She, the astronaut's answer was something about neutral buoyancy. And today's experiment is going to be just like what happens in neutral buoyancy. So just to do a quick recap of things that flow and things that sink. I have a bowl of water. I have some wood. And I have two marbles. When I put the wood into the bowl, it floats. But when I put the marbles in, they both sink. Why is the wood floating and the marble sinking? That's something. We all know what gravity is, but gravity would is what pushes it down. So the gravity is trying to push the wood down, but there's something else. There's another force in the water that's pushing the wood up, and that is called buoyancy. So is it that the wood only has buoyancy and the marbles don't have any buoyancy? No, it's actually that the marble is small, so it takes less base of the water, so it gets less buoyancy. But the wood is so big that so it takes space of more water, so it gets more neutral buoyancy. Now we know what buoyancy means, but what does neutral buoyancy mean? Let's do a quick extra to figure out. This is what I wanted to show you guys. So in the f we have three glasses of water. In the first one, there is some fresh water with the egg in it and the egg sink. And in the second one, water mixed with lots and lots of salt and the egg is there and it's floating. The middle one, the exciting one, we only added a little bit of salt and this is neutral buoyancy. It's just not going up and floating and then it's not actually sinking it's in the middle so what happened there is we added a little bit of salt so the water got less heavier so it did have buoyancy but the buoyancy wasn't strong enough to push it all the way up like this one so the egg is experiencing neutral buoyancy. So that's what it basically is. There's gravity and buoyancy, but they're both are equal. So since they both are equal, it ends up in the middle. So that's how astronauts take away gravity to practice. Bye bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we all understood what neutral buoyancy is. Bye bye. Go and see my other videos.